Welcome to Central Campus. Only about a thousand acres of the University of the South's 13,000 acre domain are developed. And today, we're gonna to show you around the Central 100 acres where Sewanee students live, eat, research, recreate, reflect, and compete. Our first stop is the Quad, a calm green space cradled by buildings housing academics, co-curricular offices, administrative offices, and sacred spaces for worship and reflection. Carnegie Hall, the central building, is home to the Career Center and the Babson Center for Global Commerce. The Career Center, led by Kim Heisenrader, Sewanee class of 1989, focuses on career and graduate school outcomes. The Babson Center, led by David Ships, Sewanee class of 1988, provides co-curricular opportunities for our business and finance students and anyone on campus interested in business. Just a short walk from the quad is the University Wellness Commons, which is part of a network of common spaces across campus. Here in the Wellness Commons, the focus is health, wellness, and recreation. The Sewanee Outing Program, or SOP for short, is housed in the Wellness Commons and helps students of all levels get out and enjoy the 13,000 acre domain and beyond. All fitness facilities are open to everyone, not just athletes. Most of our athletes train out of the Fowler Center. Sewanee offers Division III varsity sports and about 30% of students are varsity athletes. Food and knowledge of food are important for all Sewanee students to be able to perform and flourish. Next up, McClurg Dining Hall. Every day as a Sewanee student, you'll wake up to an email from the director of Sewanee Dining, Chef Rick. In this email, he lets you know what the day's menu is, where some of the ingredients come from, and some healthy nutrition and wellness facts. 20% of McClurg's produce comes from the university farm, where you'll find goats, chickens, and a large organic garden. Students tend to the herb garden and work on the farm. Let's stop by Gaylor Hall next, an academic building that's home to languages, literature, and art history. It's right off the back patio of McClurg. Sewanee's curriculum requires students to cultivate strong writing and communication skills, and small classes ensure that students learn together and from each other while developing deep, personal relationships with each other. Sewanee is a place where you'll learn to write and write well. Every student takes classes that involve writing intensive components. So everyone from our biology majors to our politics majors know how to communicate effectively. Ayers Hall, down the sidewalk from Gaylor, is Sewanee's newest residence hall. Ayers Hall is one of Sewanee's 19 residence halls, almost all of which house students from a mix of classes from first year through senior students. This mix of ages and experience helps pull the Sewanee community together even closer, as seniors and juniors can act as mentors and friends to first and second year students in a really valuable way. Sewanee offers singles, doubles, triples, apartment style, and suite style living. Nearly everyone lives on campus all four years, which means that we all operate closely as a community throughout that time. Welcome to Snowden Hall, home of environmental sciences and the first building on campus to install solar panels. In Snowden, you will run into many faculty teaching forestry, geology, environment and sustainability, and natural resources. Sewanee has one of the premier collections of environmental offerings in the country. The university features one of the largest active undergraduate research laboratories in the country as well. Our 13,000 acre domain, a living laboratory. Close by is Spencer Hall, our center for the hard sciences like chemistry, biology, medical sciences, etc. Spencer is a space that showcases how accessible undergraduate research is for our students at Sewanee. 
The professors who come to teach at Sewanee do so because they want to give students access to high-level experiential learning. Whether you're presenting a paper at Scholarship Sewanee or working on a research proposal alongside a professor, it's all at your fingertips here. The labs give you a sense of all the resources that are available to Sewanee students. DuPont Library is across from Spencer and features the Learning Commons, one of the best places to study and socialize on campus. The Ralston Room on the second floor of the library is a state-of-the-art room built around some of the highest quality stereo speakers in the world. Our final stop is a beautiful one, back on the quad at All Saints Chapel. Generations of Sewanee students have enjoyed this space for reflection and worship. Three major events for undergraduates take place here. The signing of the honor code, gowning of students initiated into our academic honor society, the order of the gown, and ultimately commencement when you receive your Sewanee diploma. Central Campus is just a glimpse into all that the domain has to offer. We hope to see you here or out on the trails soon. Yay, Sewanee's right. And it's all right here.